Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is slightly different to one of them, any videos that we've ever done before. Um, bear with, um, obviously there's a little bit of road noise as you can hear, but that's for a very good reason. Um, we are coming to you from a storage facility as somewhere far, far away. As obviously, all our older subscribers will know we've talked about traveling um, mm -hmm. all over the country and possibly Europe and stuff like that our kids are home educated so it's a good opportunity for us for them to learn on the road and stuff like that and also to bring you content more different um, different videos you know instead of being the same we're off to Disney we're coming home from Disney <laughs> we're going to Butlins we're coming back it's something different and it gives you different content all the time because it will be something that's ongoing all the time you never know when and we don't know sometimes when sometimes it will be all of us together sometimes it will just be Lee on his own yeah um, but there you go and one of the kids are bound to be with me um, oh yeah they're all going to be so with you <laughs> I would now like to introduce you to Juki the Jukato there she is, in all her glory. There she is, guys. We this was what we have been on and on about for oh, ages no, when we said. Been on and on about. <laughs> all right. I admit it. I've been on and on about it, but yeah, here she is. This is what we've been going on about. Um, we finally made it. It's not. It's not. It's an old girl. Yeah, it, it's nothing special. So, as you can see, this is uh, based on a Fiat Ducato um, chassis. This is the Auto Trail Scout um, motorhome. Um, it's actually quite cool. We've actually got quite a lot of gizmos and gadgets with it, didn't we? Mm. Um, it has got the tow bar, which is an added extra. We have the roof ladder, which obviously goes to the roof, otherwise it wouldn't be called a <laughs> roof ladder. So let's go, uh, let's go and have a look on the inside, shall we? Oh, obviously it's gonna be, it might be a little bit dark in here purely because obviously we've got all the curtains drawn but we'll be doing videos over here um, all different times but as you can see through there this is the the cab obviously you've got a reversing camera up there I'll, obviously I'll show you that because there's another screen down there as well um, but this is actually cameras all the way around there's actually one up here which faces forward there's one on the back which faces backwards we've also got just a quick if you look up there so if you look up there we've also got cameras up on the top both sides so it's cameras all the way around okay we've got the outdoor blind yeah blind awning whatever you want to call it I never, I never do know what they're called so it, yeah it's got all the gizmos all the gadgets we've got stereo in the back with speakers 
um, carbon monoxide monitors, fire alarms, you name it, we got it. Sink, the Electrolux uh, fridge, which runs on battery, gas, and mains. Also got full size. What make is it? Uh, not sure. Hasn't got a name on no, it, has it? I don't know what it is, but it's a full size cooker. Yeah, it's a full size cooker. Right you got you your control panel up here so at the moment this tells you obviously because we've got the electrics on when you put them on press this button here and it will tell you how much charge is left in the batteries in the two leisure batteries which we've got under the panel and um, we've also this does the we haven't actually worked it all out yet but mm -hmm temperatures does the water hot water yeah and sh yeah the hot water external temperature i think that is an internal temperature apparently externally it's cold and internally it's cold as well it's not cold no it's not cold we're going to show you that <laughs> uh we got outside light is that 12 volt Yep, there you go. There. So there's the outside light there. We've got the electric button for the electric outside. Um, electric, what do you call it? The awning. Uh, you got your water heater and it's got a blown air heater. When Obviously, once you're connected up to the electrics. Full fire the carver and then you come around here you got all your controls for your heating and your blown um, blown air cooling and this one is the battery charger unit and the condition controller for the solar panel, solar panel that is up on the roof so this is completely fitted professionally with um solar panels so we can use it off grid wherever we want um this is the back end um not not a great deal to see obviously we've only had it a little while um so we've just got to do some little bits put our little marks on it um and you'll probably be seeing a lot more of this as we go along um so it's a six berth. We've got a double up here. Um, Above the cab. This one goes into a double. Yeah, that's another and that double one goes there. Into a king size, did he say? Yeah, he said, he said king size. I personally would say that probably would hold about five or six. Stockage, yeah. <laughs> if you were that way inclined. <laughs> you know. um, this just comes out. You well, you move the cushions. The bed comes out. The cushions all come down. Um, but we'll. No doubt we'll have another video with that all on. Um, this will come fold up. Uh, before anyone obviously points out, we do know there is little damp areas. Um, just this bit here. Um, and there's a little bit on that side. But that. Yeah, they're going to be ongoing. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be stuff that... We, we can do it's just plywood um not a difficult thing at all to do but i think we've done all right in the bathroom oh yeah i nearly forgot about completely forgot about the bathroom there you go fully tiled oh it is tiled i thought it was all toilet bathroom hasn't been cleaned out yet it's been sitting yeah. for a little while but obviously this is something you'll see over time we will get round to piece mm -hmm. by piece um but again all the lighting on the battery work so like now um yeah it's in storage but we could come over here and easily spend a few hours here and do cups of tea and yeah. once we get a battery kettle or a gas kettle 
Yeah. Could have a gas kettle there. Oh, we could have tea. <gasps> didn't bring our tea bags, babe. No. Could have a... <gasps> we could have tea, cups of tea. We but could do different... We can do filming from here. Lee will show you in the front of the cab as well. I will. I will try. I have to show, but... I'll go around the front. This this has already tried to kill me twice, this thing. <laughs> that step there, I literally keep forgetting about that one step. So I kind of walk along, walk off the edge, and like twice I've nearly crippled myself. Um, oh, let's open that up. As you can see, it's, it's got all the factory fitted blinds all the way across it, everywhere. Um, oh, oh, let's get up into here. So, obviously, this is the pa we're in the passenger side, so we've got. In here, we've actually got that's another one. So the cameras that are all all the way round, they actually work on that screen up there, and they also come on on this screen down here. Um, eventually, this just runs on the old NAF Fiat speakers that are behind the dash. I'm going to be disconnecting them. And I'm going to be putting a proper pair of speakers somewhere in here. I don't know where. I don't know if they'll go up there. They or they might go in the door. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, they all... Fogged, didn't they? Yep, they all open and shut. So, unfortunately... Yeah, we've got bits missing. Um, unfortunately, it is old-style wind-up handles. Mm which to isn't too bad in fairness you may have noticed the fans down here <laughs> um that was the first thing we bought because unfortunately with the age of it it's got no air conditioning whatsoever Doesn't um, have a lot of storage, like cup holders and stuff, no not in the front if you look in the front here it's got hardly any um it's got n well hardly any it's got none no, none it's, it's whatsoever no thing but what we was more impressed with guys is regardless of the age of it is if you can see let me see if you can see that uh let me turn you around a sec uh do it that way right yeah as you can see sixty-six thousand. 863 miles and that's since new and that is completely very yeah, you can, we can vary history. yep um validate validate that that's what i was trying to say um yeah. so we can validate that yeah it's all the mot history is like completely there's nothing mechanic like mechanically wrong with it um, it's had a few little issues, hasn't it? Like, Main, like bulbs, bulbs not working going and, and stuff like that. Yeah. There's a CV boot that needs doing, but that's minor things. But yeah. nothing engine-wise, since it was basically mechanically, it's mechanically it's it's sound on. and it runs brilliant. Um, takes a bit of getting used to manual again, doesn't it? Yes, as you may have noticed, it is a manual box, not an automatic. But well, not forward, something I can't do. We're looking forward to making some memories with the kids, aren't we? We are, and indeed. they're going to learn, be learning on the road as well. Yeah. Um, we'll take their workbooks with us. They do a little bit of maths and English every day. Um, so yeah. So that's kind of. So that's kind of what we're up to. Um, so you're going to probably see a whole heap of different videos. You know where we're getting we're getting Juki ready. Um, getting everything in there, cleaning her out, giving her needs a bit of a top clean. to bottom, yeah. getting some odd little bits. We won't be able to use it straight away. We've got some little tiny bits that we need to repair, but they're <laughs> they're silly things, if you know what I mean. Like down here, now these. Oh, I see. Yeah, see now I've just repaired that without even. There you go. I was, yeah, I've just I've just fixed that live. So yeah, oh, it needs to go through there. That would normally go there and that would hold that. And then what will happen is obviously the blinds go up to it. But see, yeah, it's not sticking. So we've had to pull this together on, and we've had to improvise. Hold on, let go. I'm off the bar. So I'll sort that in a sec. But we just wanted to get, you know, 
Um, when we kept turning around saying that we've got things in the pipeline, this is kind of what we was having in mind. Um, and it's a work in progress. Um, it's new to us, yeah, new a, to you. It needs a bit of work, but it's not, it's not majorly, it's not majorly like unusable. It's usable straight away, isn't it? It is. Yeah. If we had, if you wanted to grab a pillow and a quilt and throw it in yeah. the back, it's pretty much good to go. Um, kids love it. Plus, the added bonus with a motorhome as well is any bits that you do think of, you're on the road. You're on the road. There's plenty of shops now. You've got Poundland, you've got The Range, you've got B&M, you've got Home Bargains. Mm -hmm. You can pick up anything you want whilst you're on the road. We're going so, to be looking at like replacing all the curtains and yeah. little bits like that, but that's in time. Yep. It's got a little bit of damp, but that is minimal he did turn around and say the, the guy that we got it off was a fantastic bloke he literally told us everything that there is to know about it even the bad stuff um i can't knock him at all no um but even he turned around and said they did the damp that's in the back is purely one of the lind one of the windows started to leak so of course it did get damp before they actually noticed that it was damp um, so they have had it sealed. The roof has all been sealed, resealed two weeks ago. So that may, the bits that are damp there, mm. may even dry back out mm. and hopefully they'll, you know. But yeah, eventually we'll. I think it's good enough for us. Yeah, it'll, get, it'll give us some adventures. The kids are really excited, aren't they? Yeah, they are, um, yeah, they are indeed. So all the, all the, everyone out there, obviously, that have been with us from the beginning, um yeah well welcome to Juki. um i'm the one that wasn't too keen on the idea yeah i like the idea of traveling but it's i think my problem is with the motorhome idea it's not because i didn't want to do it it's we've got madison as you know she's autistic oh and also guys i forgot to let you know we also received a diagnosis from mackenzie yes yeah, um, we did. so he's now been diagnosed as autistic i'm gonna give it a go sometimes it'll be all of us together sometimes it'll be lee and a couple of the kids you know while i jump on a plane back to florida no, i'm joking <laughs> hello I'm not giving up with florida even if lee doesn't go then i definitely will be um i love it lee loves it don't get me wrong it's just that long plane journey isn't it that, fly. that flight is just too long for him so that's pretty much our new motorhome in a nutshell um, and there'll be more videos to come in the coming weeks but we wanted to let you know why we've been a little bit quiet what's been going on what's in the been background? going on in the background sorry guys about that the battery died so basically yeah in a nutshell obviously this is our this is our new Juki the Chicato um, and we're familiar with Chicatos because that's what our van is and yeah it's it's a nice little it's a nice little um van it's got running lights it's got lights up the top like i said it needs updating it's got all the decals are faded in the color but that's not a problem yeah, we're looking at changing yeah we're looking at changing um it's all it, it still needs a bit of a spruce up yeah Obviously, you've got, you've got quite little cute decals on the side. Um, but it's quite long. It's, yeah, I didn't really look what up. was it, seven meters? Just over seven meters? Yeah, I didn't look up the actual lengths and dimensions. So, but the new ones are just over eight meters, but the old ones, it's got a couple of prangs and a couple of, but it runs absolutely fine. So, I'm happy with it. Yeah. <laughs> He's got somewhere else to live. He's got somewhere to live if I have an argument with him. No, we don't. We don't argue. We don't have separate beds. I have a whole separate we, house. We don't argue, do we? No, very, 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 very rarely. rarely. We have a few disagreements, but that's about That's it. because he's always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> the they're, woman's always right, aren't they, guys? Those side lights are early day. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. We are going to end the video here. Um, it was just a quick short video to show you our new purchase. We have been saving for years for this. Oh, God, yeah, that's 
before even the channel started. This is before even the channel started. We've had a little fund that we were saving yeah. towards. This this, is, this, this, we wanted this to be the first thing yeah, we ever did. This was, this was our dream from. Excuse me, my glasses on. I'm squinting in the sun. This was our dream from, like. Yeah, before the channel even started, before COVID, before yeah. COVID and then COVID hit and then obviously it put in, uh, so it kind of slowed things down and then we discovered a love for Florida and Butlins yeah. and everything like that. But we won't be stopping the Florida holidays, we won't be stopping the Butlins holidays or the other holidays we go obviously, on. with the money involved, the Florida holidays, um, I won't say... There'll be more last minute deals. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think they'll be planned so much yeah they won't be like two three years in advance no. like we we have to now some of you guys often wonder how we afford our florida holidays it's not it's not a case of it's just a spare of the moment thing we're these not, things are planned and we're not fleets in the system either no yeah you know, everything we do is above board and yeah. legit and we only use the money that we are entitled to legally. Yeah. There's nothing there's nothing untoward, there's nothing that we're stealing off of anybody else, you know. We don't work because we can't work, you know, not because we don't want to, it's because we can't. We can't have our children won't stay with anyone else, will they? No. You know, we've got Madison, she's nineteen, but in her Age-wise, she's 19. As you've probably seen in but, the videos, you know, you've seen you know, Madison's she, not quite, she she's not all there. No, um, she doesn't act like a 19-year-old. She acts more like um, 12, yeah. something like that. She needs a lot of care, and I mean a lot of care, like... You don't see um, you don't the background. Uh, yeah, you don't see the background, you know. She because we don't film that stuff. No, well, you know, she doesn't yeah. even brush her own hair, you know. We have to do all that. Yeah. And we even, don't like putting that on video you know, because that's embarrassing, embarrassing for her. Madison yeah so yeah all our holidays to florida and butlins and everything like that they might seem like we go away a lot but the plans yeah were very good i'm he's not very good at budgeting no i'm, I'm very good at budgeting and i plan she's my financial advisor but our kids do not go without shows shows you how much of a financial advisor this one is okay we went out yesterday for a trip out right to go and see jade um uh, our daughter well, we went, while you went off to Primark, I went and had a look in CEX. This one didn't know I actually bought a game. Six pounds I spent on this eight game. Eight pounds. What? Eight pounds. Was it eight pounds? Yes. Oh dear, I'm doing my fault. Um, <laughs> eight pounds on the game because I loved it. I have loved it for years. It was Tom Clancy's Wildlands. Ghost if anyone knows, Ghost yeah. Recon. Yeah, if anyone knows it, they'll know what I mean. And they took it off of um, the PlayStation Store. But I absolutely love the game and I see it and I thought, I'm going to get that. And I didn't ask. I turned around and said, no, I'm not bothering to let it wasn't until we got back home and I kind of slipped it out of my bag and into the drawer. Um, and then Katie let loose, didn't she? She was sitting there giggling a little head off and she's like, what are you giggling at? <laughs> so Katie's going to open the drawer, got it out. But that's what we do. We're, I, you know, I get, I'm rubbish. I will buy little things here and there. But I'm not even now. I'm not a big. I'm not a big spender on a lot of stuff. No, um, I don't I, drink anymore. I don't smoke anymore. We don't I, I go do out. vape. I admit that. We don't. We don't go out. No, we don't go you know, out. And to he parties. doesn't vape very we often. We don't go to pubs. We don't go to nightclubs. No. All the stuff that you guys probably go to, we don't do any of that no. because we haven't got that opportunity. We don't have babysitters. Just because we can't have. We can't minutes. have babysitters. We've got I'd... one person that babysits for us and she knows who she is if she does watch our videos and mm -hmm. that's obviously that's uh, Louise's cousin Kelly mm -hmm. she is a cracking person and she absolutely idolises the kids doesn't she we mm -hmm. don't see her all the time but we know that the she's there if we needed her and mm -hmm. we, she has done the kids won't stay with anyone else no that is literally the short, long and short of it you know we cannot and as for the budgeting I'm very good with budgeting I think I have a strong suspicion, and you do as well, don't you, that I'm autistic myself. Yeah. But I can't get diagnosed because 
what was it they said you, there's no you medical have no form of evidence or yeah background. because back when we were children guys people that are our age or older it wasn't a thing back What's then autism? what, no is, what, what was, was autism back then you know i know years ago my dad struggled to get my brother who i don't even know how my, bro my brother is now um 41 okay, so Service. he's uh 30 he's probably about 32 now i don't speak to my little brother but you know he struggled all the way through his childhood with <sighs> problems and he did finally get a diagnosis of autism but it took years you know I'm not being funny though you you and your brother um one day if anyone's interested obviously by all means let us know um there's a lot to our backgrounds that obviously you don't know um you know louise's past what well, growing up wasn't great wasn't fantastic you know she didn't have the greatest of lives um but i think that's why now trying she to make... make sure that our kids have got what she didn't get yeah um trying to make memories with my children and the hateful comments we keep getting on our videos it, you know it's don't bother me. it doesn't really bother us, us you know but we've had to kind of hold all comments because we have to now approve them all don't yeah. we because of just the small small minority that we get hateful comments so if you do comment and you think oh they haven't that replied. hasn't come straight up that's because it's we've set it that way guys all yeah, right we've had to and we we will put we will put up comments you know we, if we if people have a have a, an opinion we have no problem with that but no. when they're just out and out being nasty a dig, like that, literally just basically slating us basically saying oh they they're cheating the system they're doing this they're doing we're not you know we're not doing anything we shouldn't be doing when you know us you know and when you know all about us then by all means come back here and have your comment and i'll gladly answer any <laughs> questions that you want to ask absolutely no problem with that but ask first don't just think that you know it all you know and you instantly put us into that category of being benefit cheats and because you are so far wrong. You have not got an absolute clue no. about what's going on and what we do we've with our got, life. We've got all medical evidence to back up our disabilities, back up our children's disabilities. We've got every, every, evidence for everything. Yeah. So, you know, not that we should have to share that, you know, but yeah, there's the very, very small minority. But I do want to say... everywhere. Yes, I do want to say... <laughs> I do want to say thank you to all the people that have been with us from the very beginning um very little fish um who else kim luffman arden grainford arden grainsford has been with us from the very well not the very start but um there's a few others i can't think of the names but lucy um alice and there's a few others as well but yeah they've been with us right from the pretty much very Hang start yep. and and, and they've stuck with us out. you know and they've seen us kind of evolve and sort of grow as a family and all we want to do is just make memories for our children guys that's all we want well, you know it's not a lot to ask just stop with the hateful comments it's just you know it's not we we only get one life let's live it so on that note i'm not going to keep going on but we are going to lock this up. We are going to go to the doctors like we normally have to do, get Lee's medication, and we are going to start making memories with our children. And if you want to follow along, we'd love to have you. So, speak to you later, guys. Bye, guys. Stay safe, stay happy.